A few weeks ago, my wife and I were blessed to be able to go down to San Antonio for a retreat for pastors and their wives. And it was a wonderful and refreshing experience. My wife and I were able to reconnect with classmates and friends that we hadn't seen in almost five years. We were able to relate to each other's stories and struggles, and we were encouraged by one another. Like I said, it was a wonderful and very refreshing experience, and my wife and I enjoyed every minute of it. Now, like most pastors and their wives who went to this retreat, we flew on an airplane to get to San Antonio. Now, I know that not everyone loves to fly, but I do. I love flying in an airplane, and I especially love getting the window seat. I love looking out the window, especially as we take off, and you get to see things get smaller and smaller and smaller, and then when you're up in the air, you get to look down on the clouds, and you get to look down at the mountain ranges. And I even enjoy looking out the window as we descend and see things get bigger and bigger again. Well, when we were leaving San Antonio, I was blessed to have that window seat again. And as we took off, I saw things get smaller and smaller and smaller as we got higher and higher and higher. And it hit me. I realized as I looked down at 10,000 feet and I saw how small things were, I realized then how small and puny we really are. Especially as you think about the, the size of our planet, the size of the universe, the size of God's creation, we really are small and puny in, in the grand scheme of things. But that's not the case with God. We have a great big God who fills everything in every way, as it says in Ephesians chapter 1. And that great big God loves little old you and puny little me. Psalm 8 verses 3 and 4 says this, When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, the son of man that you care for him? We have this great big God who fills everything in every way, and he considers little old you and puny little me to be his greatest treasure. It's mind-blowing. That great big God sent his one and only son, sacrificed him on a cross to wash away all of your sins, all of my sins. That great big God showed through his son how much he loves little old you and puny little me. God's love for us is absolutely incredible, especially when you consider how little we are and how big God is. And so if you ever struggle with your self-worth, just remember that the great big God loves little old you and sent his son to die for little old you and puny little me. And so when you think about how big God is, how great his love is for you and for me, well then I, I think we will gain a better appreciation for how much we are worth to God. Little old you and puny little me, we are God's greatest treasure. And we see that through his son. Never forget that. Our great big God loves little old you and puny little me it certainly puts things into perspective. If this devotion was a blessing to you, please like and share with others. God's blessings to you all.